So on my channel, I've been talking about this live stream that Bethesda has had for about a day. I think they started it yesterday or the day before of this video uploading anyway. Um, where basically it was pretty obvious it was teasing something Fallout related. Most likely it was going to be a spin-off game, and it turns out it was. They finally released a teaser, teaser for the game that was being released, and it looks great. The game was announced, and it's, it is Fallout Brotherhood of Steel 2 for the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Fallout 76 which we don't know a lot about this game yet, but we do know it takes place in in a vault called Vault 76, which is where the title comes from, of course. And uh, this game looks like it could be great, even though we don't know a lot about it. We don't even know what the world outside Vault 76 looks like. Because they just haven't shown that this, this trees teaser trailer doesn't show that much, but it shows enough to get me a little excited for this game. Of course, I'm already excited for any Follow game that's gonna come. I mean, I love Follow. If you can tell from my channel, it's mostly just Follow videos. But the first thing that I think is great, um, a lot of people who play. Fallout 4 and maybe even Fallout 3. I haven't really played the original Fallout games, but I have, at least the first one. And, um, the Pip-Boy in that, I thought, was pretty cool and kind of better than the other ones. I mean, of course, it wasn't your menu or your inventory. It was just, like, reminders for things. Kind of just like your own smartphone. Can't really do anything weird, like manage your inventory, like the other one like the new one could, but the thing that I thought was cool was the uh, the vacuum tubes, which if you don't know, before they invented transistors, that is what computers would have to use. They would just be made of vacuum tubes. And what I thought was cool was even though it was just like a little handheld device, then it had actual vacuum tubes in it, which of course, there's no way a device that small could operate on vacuum tubes at all. But yeah, I thought it was... I'm pretty sure the newer Pip-Boy is supposed to have vacuum tubes in it, but you don't actually see those vacuum tubes. Or maybe I'm wrong about that. And basically this version of the Pip-Boy feature in this game is basically a cross between the two. Which of course could mean that Bethesda is trying to make a game that's more like the older Fallout games, but also more like Fallout 4 and Fallout 3, basically combining all the good things from all the Fallout games, which of course, everybody would hope that they do, but they might not. But at least they're bringing back the old vacuum tubes that you can actually see, being able to see the vacuum tubes, and pretty much all the technology in Fallout 1 and 2 were like that, where you could see the vacuum tubes sticking out. And this Pip-Boy, has vacuum boosting out, but also you wear it on your arm and it manages your inventory stuff. I mean, of course, we haven't seen it manage your inventory, but I mean, they're probably not going back to having the stupid inventory system that was in Fallout 1 and 2. Not that they're bad games, just the inventory system most people don't like. The actual Pip-Boy version was better. Uh, anyway, another thing in this trailer that you can see is um, yeah this game is definitely running off the creation engine there is no doubt about that the creation engine is pretty recognizable now and um, yeah, most people say it looks outdated, and it kind of does, but I personally think it fits follow pretty well. I mean, there is other problems with the engine that people are mad about, but 
I don't really have any that many issues with it. I haven't encountered too many issues myself. I mean, I'm not a modder or anything. I know it's supposed to be difficult for modders to try and get around the limitations of the engine. But I personally don't know myself at all. But I personally don't know myself. Um... I know some people thought that this live stream actually might be teasing a new engine that they're developing. So they'll finally have something that looks next gen, which I mean, like I said, this, I think this engine looks fine. But when the fighting is stopped, a lot of people disagree. You must rebuild. Uh, yeah, so, this game, uh, I think it could be a lot like Fallout New Vegas was, where I mean, people liked Fallout 3, but a lot of people would say that Fallout New Vegas is probably the best Fallout game just out of all of them. And, um... This game's a lot like Fallout New Vegas in the fact that it was, a uh, That it's a spin-off game based off the same engine and probably using a lot of the same assets of it, the main series title. So, I mean, of course that doesn't say anything about how the actual game will be, but hopefully that this game will be, this game will turn out like that. And I think that it'll probably at least take some aspects from Fallout 1 and 2 because of the new Pip-Boy design, which I really like that way, by the way, if you can already tell. And I think it's just the best thing ever, in Fallout at least. <laughs>